Good morning, FS Global Walking Bad Channel, and welcome back to FS News. Can you believe how fast time is actually moving? I can't believe it's already Thursday. There is exactly 40 days till the release of Farming Simulator 25, so we are getting closer and closer. Well, today in news, we'll be taking a look at rice in FS25, plus a bunch of your favorite cases could be heading to Farming Simulator 25. Now for today, so for the time recording, there is no test on list. If one does get posted, it will of course be in the club's Discord. Link to the club's Discord is down in the description. Question of the day. What will be your first crop you plant on Farming Simulator 25? Mine will probably be green beans. I've been waiting to see them in Farming Simulator and we finally got it. Okay, let's start today off strong with a 400 like video. So remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll the intro. Let's get Disney. When we're backstage, we're playing loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want to be. Walking back, and let's get right on into talking about some rice in the new Farming Simulator 25. So, new crop rice and long grain rice. Here's the thing about rice in Farming Simulator 25 not all rice is the same. There are two different types long grain rice and what we call just rice. How about we actually take a closer look at the differences between them? So rice types, rice and long grain rice need different water levels, machines to sow and harvest and seed. Of course, long grain rice isn't sown in water like the other one. Instead, the rice paddy for long grain rice gets flooded after the sowing, not before. But let's start at the beginning of the process. Rice paddies. Both types of rice are planted or sown in rice fields, also called rice paddies. That's a special type of field deepened to allow for water retention. That's why you require open space on your land. Via the build menu, which you guys can see right there, a brand new build menu, you start the creation process. Instead of just placing down a field, you can shape it in any size or form. Which looks like with this build menu, it's gonna be actually a vertical build menu instead of the horizontal we're used to in FS22. Uh, okay, rice greenhouses. This one is optional. You can buy saplings at the dealership or you can build a special greenhouse dedicated to cultivating rice saplings. If your agricultural ambitions rely on increased rice production, you should look at growing them yourself. Planting and harvesting rice. Here's the equipment you need to plant and harvest rice. You'll need a tractor, a cultivator, a specialized rice planter, as well as a harvester and a trailer. Some limes should also be in storage, but for the end of the whole process. Rice fields are pre-limed when you build them, which is why you don't need to apply it in the beginning. Activate the pump to flood the field, then plant the saplings. Since the rice planter will take care of fertilization, you don't need an additional fertilizer spreader like with other crops. The pump will automatically provide the correct amount of water. Just check your water pump daily to maintain the proper level, or you will lose seedling and yield. All the water will be soaked up by the thirsty plants by the end of the growth cycle. I just wish since, of course, there is now this in there, I wish that we also had irrigation. Maybe it's something that modders can actually add later on. All right, but when the rice is mature, harvest it and decide whether to sell it, store it, or process it into product products. To grow another batch of rice, apply lime to the field and cultivate the paddy after harvesting. Lime is only needed after a few harvests. Now, about sowing and harvesting long grain rice. With long grain rice, you don't need any water to sow your plants just yet. Long grain rice is sown dry. Just fill your seed with seeds and start sowing one row after another until the whole paddy is covered. After that, you flood the rice field and need to maintain different water levels at different growth stages. Don't worry, the pump will only allow just the right amount of water. Check your water pump daily to maintain the proper level. If you don't, you will lose some of your rice saplings. Once the plant is ready to harvest and has consumed all the fresh water, just head over to your harvester and hop in. Your standard combine with a grain header will do the job. And that's a really nice John Deere right there. Okay, but anyways, sell it, store it, or process it further at select production plants. But we're not done yet. To cultivate another batch of rice, apply lime to the field and cultivate the paddy with a cultivator. So there is a lot to do with rice and you guys can see all right here, the growth stages and it looks really, really good. Okay, the next blog that they're gonna be talking about is probably gonna be about a new animal, goats, cause they put at the end of this one, coming soon on the blog, maybe goats. So another new animal. Like always guys, if you guys are interested in pre-ordering Farming Simulator 25 on PC, the link to pre-order is down in the description, so don't forget to do that right there. And remember, if you pre-order using that link, you'll be one of the first ones to get the game on November 12th. 
Now, how about we get to some regular modding news? The first one is about Farming Simulator 22 and JMZ modding. Two days ago, he posted a quick render of his newest Marcelo, and today you can see it actually in the game. This has a 4.2 working width, full adjustment of the shafts and plates, and what follows the depth adjustment, choice of color of the shafts on this one. And then next, if you are actually playing on the Millennial Farmer map and you guys are loving it, well, guess what? Mapper's Paradise is having a best picture contest. It says, let's end the FS22 season with a chance for you to win some awesome prizes sponsored by Midwest Machinery Co. and Farm Focus. So a huge thank you to them. Time to use your creativity. And remember, if you're not in it, you can't win. So Midwest Machinery Company will be judging. So if you guys are interested in actually joining this, make sure you guys head on over to Mappers Paradise's Facebook page. Link to that is down in the description, guys. There is only one entry per person, single or multiplayer. You can have up to three images, enhancements permitted. Uh, you cannot publish your pictures online though, but you can do it on this one. The closing date is October 13, 2024. Uh, so good luck to everybody that joins this. Okay, then after that, we have a new brand coming to Farming Simulator from Senior Vertex, as we are pleased to announce a new brand to Farming Simulator, the Belts of Brazil. In a partnership between Agrotono, Belts do Brazil, and Senior Vertex, the brand makes its arrival, bringing two incredible brand implementations. Uh, keep an eye on, of course, their stuff, because we should be seeing this actually in-game pretty soon. Now, the next two pieces of news is actually some news about FS25 and some modders talking about their future plans for FS25. First one is actually Mr. Hector Mods, which we actually haven't heard from in a long time. But it says, as you probably noticed, the last few months he was taking a break, and he still is, from modding for FS. He was just playing and enjoying the Carpathian Countryside map or other games. However, he was not completely absent from modding. Some of the little free time he had lately, he has also been investing to some preparations for a Carpathian Countryside map for Farming Simulator 25, which will be here very soon. And with that, he wants to officially announce that he will be back for Farming Simulator 25 release, and the Carpathian Countryside map will continue better than ever. He has a lot of plans for it. He also says it is still very early to talk about specific stuff. We have to wait and see what FS25 brings us. There is still a lot of unknown and most of the stuff for modders will be only after release. However, he still wants to show at least something. Some stuff he has been working on over the last couple of weeks. It is not much, but still, this is just a very early sneak peek. Cannot even call it the beginning, but rather pre-beginning. These are just things that are sure to come and already done. It will have a fully start for him whenever FS25 releases. He says it will be quite a journey again, and he cannot wait for it. You see from right here, some pretty good stuff. And the last piece we have is actually from our good friend Case Aries Modding, saying goodbye to another game. As a modder, he is leaving FS22 behind and preparing new mods for FS25. Time flies. It feels like it was just yesterday when he released the AFS Connect as his first mod. Now this cycle is coming to an end. He wants to thank all of his friends in the community and his uh, followers. Your support has been key, if not crucial, in helping him create these 10 mods. He's excited about what's to come, new mods, and more variety. Uh, also asks, what is your favorite mod? I'm hoping to see every single one of these right here in the new FS25. If I would have to probably pick what my favorite one is right here, it would of course have to be the Case IH Magnum 8900 series. I use that thing all the time let me know in the comment section below which one of these guys is your actually favorite in farming simulator 22 and which one you would love to see come over first in fs25 and there you have it right there there is all the news for today a little bit slow on news still i'm pretty sure it is because everybody's getting ready for farming simulator 25 and i'm also sure as soon as that does come out news is going to be going out like crazy Okay, what is today's schedule? Today's schedule, guys, we are back with live streams at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, which I'll be back, of course, on the Millennial Farmer map, so hopefully I see every single one of you guys in there. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. Hopefully, we did hit that 400. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. I'll see you guys tonight. Peace. I could say I was finally over